My name is Emma Harvey and I am the general manager for Zambezi Pineapples, which is an organization based in the very, very northwest of uh, Zambia. I uh, am a pineapple farmer, as you can guess. And uh, the process that we do is basically to buy fruits from small scale farmers and we turn them into dried, uh, healthy snack packs as well as juices. So the three-day workshop was, uh, well, two days really, and then the pitch day, they were, it was quite strange, it was quite a roller coaster ride because we all sort of came in feeling like, uh, you know, we really loved what we did, we were incredibly passionate about our products and, and the companies that we ran and owned, and that was so evident from absolutely everybody. But then, of course, there came this weird silence whenever we had to start talking about money, and I think... Um, that was that was something that got a little bit sort of confusing at times i think but you know the point was was that at the end of it the money really didn't matter and i think for a lot of us in the beginning the money didn't matter in the middle it was like this terribly scary thing hanging over our heads but thank goodness the hivos team were there to sort of guide us and and put us in the right direction and that meant that we remembered really why we were there and that was because we loved what we do and we love the people that we serve. The group of people that we had here, the 13 entrepreneurs, they ranged from everything from beauty products to earthworm farming for, for alternative fertilizers to uh, vegetables to technology for growing, for growing different, uh, different plants. Uh, and all the way down to, to me and my and my crazy pineapples. So, you know, we we were a huge variation of people, and I think it's an incredibly special thing because it's a advocate for diversity. Being diverse made us better. We all learned something from each other, and now we have we're connected through a WhatsApp group. We'll be connected through the Hivos uh, network as well. And I think I wouldn't be surprised if in the next couple of months you don't already see some intercompany trades between Malawi, Zambia and Zimbabwe. And I think if that happens, that was the ultimate goal and everybody goes home a winner. very unexpectedly came out as uh, the best overall company for, for this uh, round of pitching for Disrupt Food. And I think my automatic reaction was very out of body because it was one of those experiences where I was standing with 13 other people who were incredible human beings who had all been through so much personal and company struggle to be where they were and had so much further to go as well as, as me, I, I, I still I think I have further to go than, than, than the majority of them. So when we came out on, on the top, I think there was just this moment of disbelief, <laughs> I think, but then incredible excitement and, like I said, validation that what we are doing is the future and it's the way to go. And that was the most incredible feeling for me, especially since I had never done a pitch event personally before in my life. Um, so it was an incredible achievement just for me personally, but um, obviously uh, the hard work has only just begun. Um, we've got a long way to go, and uh, as much as I was excited to win, I'm just even more excited for the future. For us now, especially with Zambezi Pineapples, we're just really looking forward to upscaling and being able to reach so many more of the, of the local community that we serve and look after, but also just to generally set the standard. Um, and I think that we, along with all of the other entrepreneurs that were here, are proving that Africa can look after itself, that we are able to do it with each other, for each other, and by each other. And I think um, that's an incredibly important thing for our future, just as Zambezi pineapples, for Zambia and for Africa. And I think um, from that point of view, we all learned that and we took that away from this experience. And uh, yeah, personally, I have think I've sort of come away in three days and turned into a completely different person. 
Um, I'm far more confident in myself and in uh, a brand that I have always had a huge amount of faith in, but um, I've just had that reinstated and uh, that's an incredibly, incredibly valuable thing.